reception. Do you like my glasses? You do? I just wanted to look cool today. It's Friday after all. Mums and dads, are you there? Ask your children to join in with the sounds and actions and this will help them to remember each one. If you want to join in, the actions are in the phonics book in your child's book bag. Go on, have a try. Remember, isn't there? That's why it's really important to do this every day. Oh, it's time for tricky words! Lily has her own bag of tricky words now, which we practice every day. And there are a few that she just can't remember. So I've made a little game up to help her and I thought it might help some of you. So for this game, you're going to need your tricky word bag from your book bag. You're going to need some pieces of card. And to cut them out, you need some scissors and a pen to write on them. And then some kind of pot to put your play pieces in. So I've got a butter pot here, but you could use a bag or a box, whatever you've got, or a bucket lying around, whatever you have. Okay? So, first you need to have a look in your tricky word bag and think of four words that you're finding really difficult and you just can't remember. So for Lily, they are the words the me, she and do. And because Lily's going to be playing this game with me, I've written two of them on her card and two of them on my card. Okay, now to go with that, I've made some letter cards. So these ones are Lily's, because that's a S and a H. And let's have a look, see if we can find the other one. And an E for she. And then these ones are the ones I'll be looking for in the game. T and a ha. We need T and a o for do. And mm, and a e. And a e for the e. So you can see I've just wrote each of the sounds out that I need onto little pieces of card. Okay? So we're going to put all of those, this all the play cards, into my tub. I can turn them over so I can't see them. Okay, well, as we might cheat, and then to add to my game, I've got a couple of rocket cards. Now, I'm going to play the game once with you, and then I'll play it again with the rocket cards. So, I'll just keep them to one side for a minute. Okay, now we just take it in turns to take one card out and see if it's one that we need to build our word. So, I'm going to go first, and I'm looking for a t, a h, an e, or a m, or an e. Now, I have a look. Nope. I don't need that one. That's Lily's that she needs. So I'm going to put that back in the box, give it a shake, and then Lily can help her go. Okay, Lily, let's help you out a bit. Okay, we've got a huh. So Lily needs a huh because there's a huh in the word she. So we're building these words up. So it's my go. Ooh, do I need a duh? 
So we're recognising the sound, we're reading it, seeing if we know what it is and seeing if it's in the words that we have. No, nope, and I don't need that one. So let's shake them up. Let's let Lily have a go. Oh, let's help you out, Lily. Oh, you're doing well today, Lily. There's an oh in do, so you're going to need that one in a minute. Okay, this is talking to you, you're not doing so well today in this game. Let's have a look. Oh, brilliant. There's a mmm for me, so I need that one. All right, Lily. Let's see if you can get one out. Do you need this one, Lily? Oh, no, there's no t in any of the words. That's one that Mrs. Talking to needs. We'll put that one back in. Okay. Oh, I don't need that one either. That's one that Lily needs. Okay. Let's see if we can help Lily. Oh, brilliant. Oh, Lily, you're doing well. You've got the s and the h for she. Mrs. Talking to, what do you need? Oh, no, that's d for do. That's one that Lily needs. Okay. Hey, well done. Oh, Lily, you've made a word. Now, when you've got the two sounds that are in the word, the two letters, see if you can read it. So, d and o makes do. Well done, Lily. You only need one more and you've won the game. All right, Mrs. Talking, you better catch up. Come on. Oh, I need that. Oh, look. I've got the m and the e in me. So m and e makes tricky word me. And if you're not sure about reading it, ask the adult next to you to help you read it and help you remember them. Okay, so Lily, all you need is an e out of the box. See if you can get one. Oh, you have. You found e, e, e. So Lily has won the game. Well done, Lily. She's found all the letters in she and do. And hopefully that will help her to learn to recognise the letters that she's seeing in those tricky words that she doesn't know. Now, you can make this comb a little bit harder because you can add in two little rocket cards. So if you're having your turn and you pull out a rocket card, it means, uh-oh, you've got to put all your cards back into the box and you start again. So if you want a challenge or you want to make the game last a bit longer, you can add some rocket cards to your game. Now, let me know how we get on and I'll I'll keep you up to date with how Lily's doing with her tricky words. But she did well at that game. She found all the sounds, all the letters she needed to make these tricky words up and I'll do some more practice with her. Okay, Lily? All right, see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> what a busy week we've had. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've got lots of great ideas for helping you with your phonics and your tricky words. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.